Deep fake is just one image and one audio clip away. Microsoft's new research paper indicates that with one image, a single portrait image, a single audio clip, you can generate really realistic, hyper realistic talking hits. And this is like as good as what you would see in real world like this. So this is completely deep fake. This is completely deep fake. And you can see a lot more examples like this is completely deep fake with different so, um, expressions a completely deep fake this is all ai generated and in this video we're going to look at this paper that they have released called vasa vasa one lifelike audio driven talking faces generated real time we're going to look at the announcement and also the paper so there is no model yet so i guess microsoft is not going to release the model yet or at least they'll not release it ever because they have a section called risk and responsible EAI consideration or maybe it is going to be part of Azure or probably like a proprietary offering for somebody. Having said that, uh, one thing that I found interesting is one of the authors on this paper is also part of or was also part of a previous paper from Microsoft where they actually released the entire code that was called Disco Face GAN. This is, this is all before the latest EAI hype. So, this is four years ago. This was using GAN, a generative adversarial neural network, I guess. A disentangled and a controllable face image generation via 3D imitative contrastive learning. So this was the paper that Microsoft presented on CVPR 2020. And uh, you can see one of the author is uh, also available on this particular paper. So I don't know what kind of things Microsoft has been cooking, um, but it looks like Microsoft is like seriously cooking something. So in TLDR, what is this paper about? What is this model Vasa? It's one single portrait photo, one single audio clip, speech clip, can generate hyper-realistic talking face video with precise lip sync audio, lifelike facial behaviors, naturalist head movements generated in real time. And you can see the head movements of these photos, like these, videos that are generated as you can see like you can see it's not like the other talking head videos that you would see uh, where uh, you would see very unnatural one like These see make your users journey more the it is so natural like if you show it to me like the video i would honestly start believing it it also offers a bunch of other customization like controllability of generation so you can use it with uh, different things like for example you can say i want i open i list this side I that side, I looking up, uh, like head this, head that. Uh, what is the size of the head away from the camera? Like how much head you want to cover the frame? Like for example, here, the head is far away from the frame um, or you can say the frame has more real estate. This is closest to the frame. A lot of these information. So I'll let you play with this. And also they've got like this demo, which says you can do it in real time. For example, you can just go select the image, change the image. And you have got a bunch of controllable fa parameters that you can use to change. And then it just works perfectly fine, like beautifully fine. Now, jumping into the paper, there are a bunch of interesting things that I wanted to share, discuss first. Uh, I'm not going to go deep into it. To be honest, like I'm not a subject matter ex expert on this. I'm sharing what I know. The paper was a one lifelike audio driven talking phases generated in real time. So why it is VASA? VASA is nothing but VAS stands for Visual Effective Skills. So Microsoft is generating Visual Effective Skills. Um, that's what they're calling it. So this is a framework for generating lifelike talking faces given a single static image and a speech audio clip. This model is capable of not only producing lip movements but also capturing like a large uh, spectrum of facial nuances and natural head motions, which is very important that according to them, and we can also see from the videos that it is very important. The natural head motions are very important for the, it contributes to the authenticity and liveliness of the video. Like I come from South India. There is a joke whenever I travel outside India or work with like outside India stakeholders, they don't understand my head movements to realize whether i'm saying yes no but for us like at least like for people who come from my place head is the most important part of their communication when they speak as much as the facial expressions are 
So Microsoft has said that this is very important and that's how they ended up doing this. So this method can generate a 512 by 512 videos at 40 FPS, 40 frames per second. Amazing at with negligible starting latency. And they say that it can help in real time engagements. I'm not sure if it is going to come on Microsoft Teams, but yeah, this is what Microsoft is doing. So image, audio clip, you can have some control signals like, okay, where do you want the eye to be? What is the size? Like what is the distance? from the camera or frame uh, coverage, uh, then it can actually generate. All these images at this point are AI generated by Microsoft has also said that this model generalizes well for images that it has not seen. That means probably if you have a image of a real human being, maybe it has a very good chance that it might work. So the video that it generates not only features lip movement, but also like wide range of facial dynamics and head movements and uh, the existing techniques are far from achieving the authenticity of natural talking faces and uh, primarily the existing techniques have been focusing only on lip sync and the moment we see lip sync people are like very happy and people are like obsessed and using it but microsoft said that okay natural head movements play a very important role in perception of realism that is where there is a need to build this critical system. So a critical need exists for optimized algorithms that can bridge the gap between high quality video synthesis and also the low latency requirements of real time applications. Because otherwise, usually it takes a lot of computation and huge amount, huge time for anything to happen. But this system, according to Microsoft, can be low latency, but also high quality video, which is 512 by 512, which is really good, to be honest. For a video so how does it work so they have developed an efficient system in the system what it does is a powerful audio conditioned generative model so based on the audio it generates things that works in the latent space of head and facial movements so in the latent space it does head and facial movements if you see if you think about stable diffusion in the latent space you would get like the different uh, the different frames like the by the by the denoising process so here you can see in the latent space you have both the head and facial movements it is different from prior works previous works they train a diffusion transformer model if you remember diffusion transformer model this is the technology this is the same technology or architecture that is used by openai sora openai sora was very realistic people thought maybe it is 3d People thought it is probably like trained with a bunch of different items, but OpenAI said it is a diffusion transformer model. And this is again diffusion transformer model on the latent space of holistic facial dynamics as well as head movements. And the diffusion transformer model considers all possible facial dynamics, including lip motion, the non lip expressions, eye gaze, whether you blink or not, among others. As a single latent variable and model, it's probabilistic distribution in a unified manner. Instead of having different models or different methods, like existing methods, if you see, they have got different models for these different factors. What Microsoft has done is they have got like a unified probability distribution or they have got like combined thing uh, for all these things uh, where they are modeling it in a probability distribution for all these items, for all these latent variables. Our holistic facial dynamics modeling together with jointly learned head motions patterns leads to generation of a diverse array of life 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 like emotive talking behaviors. We incorporate optional conditional signaling like main gaze direction. Where do you want the eye to be top right left head distance emotion offset into the learning process. Okay, they've got a bunch of information. The main takeaway from this paper is that our aim is to aim is for the latent space to possess both the total state of disentanglement between facial dynamics and other factors as well as high degree of expressiveness to model rich facial appearance details and dynamic nuances just you are, gen, 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 just generally you have to think that if you see this image uh, there are two things that you need to focus one the facial expression which is which should be like easy for you to control different elements the highly disentangled realistic face and also the head movements 
uh, within that phase for you to do those things so that is what they're trying to capture from the latent space what did they train it on so they first base their method on 3d aided representation and uh, they've got like their own loss functions uh, loss function is basically what you would optimize the neural network for so based on the loss function the neural network will learn what to minimize trained on face videos in an self-supervised or weakly self-supervised manner our encoder can produce well disentangled factors including the 3d appearance identity head pose and holistic facial dynamics and the decoder can use that and generate high quality faces following the given latent codes so to quickly go into the summary of the overall framework instead of generating video frames directly we generate holistic facial dynamics and head motion in the latent space conditioned on audio and other signals so basically you give the input image and the audio and conditioning on that they are generating holistic facial dynamics and head motion given these motion latent codes our model then produces video frames by a face decoder which also takes appearance and identity features extracted using a face encoder from the input image so that is one side the other side is like you from the input image it uh, takes the input like appearance and identity features and it generates finally so an expressive and disentangled face latent learning framework is crafted and trained on real life face videos a simple yet powerful diffusion transformer to model the motion distribution and then generate the motion latent codes in the test time given audio condition so you, this is the image you can see the training pipeline for the mot motion latent diffusion and the test pipeline for audio to video generation so you give uh, this is like how they are first training and this is the test uh, when you give the audio like how does the video get generated so you have the single frame from that it actually encodes and tries to get the identity information the appearance information and then you have got the audio part and from there it captures certain information so you can see both the transformer block and also the denoising the diffusion part and this is how together it creates this uh, wonderful diffusion transformer architecture so the at the core what they're trying to do is we try we utilize diffusion models for audio condition hfdg what is hfdg it is identity agnostic holistic facial dynamics generation so basically they're trying to generate everything that your face can do which can be like lip motion expression eye gaze blinking and everything and um, train on massive talking face videos from a large number of identities and you can see that you can see that on their demo that uh, they have done it on large number of identities typically a lot of these models would work only very well with like let's say white skin or uh, native americans type appearances but here you can see somebody wearing a glass somebody with a blonde hair black um, not asian and a lot of different uh, different attributes and like i said microsoft has said that it works very well for out of distribution generalization which means you can probably ask mona lisa to sing a song you can have like cartoon characters and uh, the power of disentanglement mean you can do a bunch of different things um, that is easy for you to control the generated content like you can change the image um, do certain things so it gives you a lot of different options that you can control i think overall this is a very exciting paper um, i don't think the model would get released anytime soon given the fact that uh, this might have a massive impact because it's a low latency model microsoft um, might have uh, certain challenges in terms of what uh, or how this is being used especially with the election time in the us at this point but i guess at some point this will get integrated into microsoft products otherwise you know they're not going to spend a heck lot of money in creating these models and releasing this paper if you find this paper interesting let me know in the comment section i found it quite interesting it's not like i understood every single thing but i try to make sure that i can share whatever i know uh, if you want to read the paper i would strongly encourage you to go into these sections particularly like these different sections what happens every moment uh, primarily if you see like to quickly summarize before i close the video so the at the inference time like when you finally give when you go to the let's say you have a web application like this and when you go give here what happens when you upload you upload an image you upload an audio so what happens at that time at inference time given a face and an audio clip first they extract the 3d appearance information 
and also the identity code so these are the two things that they extract using the face encoders which they have already trained then they extract the audio features split them into different items and from this they generate the head and facial motions and using the sliding window manner which we have already seen quite popular in the transformers architecture for large language models and final videos finally generated using the trained decoder so this is this looks like something that can challenge sora uh, primarily for uh, talking heads and i'm definitely looking forward to see where this is going to get implemented or integrated see you in another video happy prompting